Man, what a great time to be alive. Just so many interesting things going on. This is great. I mean, everyone, this is... Uh, so if you don't know, if you don't follow AI that much, or maybe you're new to AI. Uh, so 2025, 2025, I think that's the year we're in. That is the, uh, the year of the agent. I mean, you read anything about artificial intelligence, there's no way you can escape the agent. All right. So what is an agent? An agent is uh, at its core an LLM, a large language model, right? So you've got some kind of input. We'll call it I for input. You feed it into the large language model. The LLM has these things called tools. We'll put a tools that it can access to choose this tool or that tool or all three tools or whatever it needs in order to give you an O, an output, or an answer to your problem. So that is that is an agent. What we're talking about here are more than one of these. So here we go. We've got this, uh, this, this, this is one agent, right? One agent. Well, in the, in enterprises and, you know, in, in the real world, one agent usually, one agent may not be enough to get the job accomplished. And the most fascinating thing right now with agents are swarms. Uh, that was actually the name of my, my school before I canceled it. Uh, and it was going to be um, discussing how multi-agents work together to solve problems. All right. So this is, this is agent one, this is agent two, and it's the same thing. So multi-agent here, we're talking about in this this article, these findings are more than more than one agent, right? More two, three, whatever. And a swarm is a whole group of these agents, right? That can talk to each other, working together to solve a problem, right? So that's a multi-agenic system, or it can also be called a swarm. The problem is these. Once we get more than one, the failure rate goes. Through the roof. Uh, so multi-agent, again, we're talking about more than one agent, right? Uh, around 60% of the time, they're failing. And they're failing in like real world situations. Not like, you know, these N8 and kids out there that are building these desktop toys, right? We're talking about, you know, the real world stuff. Google, Microsoft, big boy stuff. So it, what's funny is that, that the failure is not from hallucinations or bad prompts. It's from... A lot of things, and I wrote today's post. If you're a subscriber, you've already read it. Uh, but they found that that there are three core reasons that they fail. Here's what they found: they've got specification errors, 42% of the time; enter agent misalignment, 37, and verification failures. All right. I'll put the down below video. I will put the the Berkeley study that this goes to. But if we can see in the graph, this is from the Berkeley study. Now I don't know; these are this is right multi-agent, uh, so I'm not I'm not sure if the, this is all comparable. If you look at this guy and say, "Holy hell, what happened there?" But what I wanted you to see really is not pick out any one of these, right? Is to see that the failure, even at, on the best model, was a 41% failure rate. All right, so yeah, that that's not going to, mm, yeah. Yeah, mm, no. so that's like having a machine learning model, right? Because these are that's what these are. These are machine learning models. That is that is accurate sixty percent of the time. All right, uh, you know we call that in the real world. We call that uh, fired. Fired. If you can't do better than that, you're fired. Uh, and look at this one. I mean, my goodness. Uh, so I don't know, again, I don't know, there's no context here other than I wanted you to see the failure. It's happening across the board, and, and the degree of failure is a, it doesn't matter. Once you get to this 40%, I mean, hell, once you, you're talking about, uh, you know, real-world systems, you get a 10% failure or or less, or that thing doesn't go into production. So we've got some work to do. Again, I thought most of you would find this interesting, so I will put the article below. And go ahead, and you should be subscribed to my newsletter, right? And you should have read that today because that post is dives into this a little deeper. No, not it's not 
I don't want you to go read the paper because it's, you know, reading research papers is boring as shit. Uh, so I tried to high level it as best I could. All right. Head down in the comment section. Let's talk about it. What do you think?